My sweet goats, I have been having so much fun. So much fun with Apex Legends. That's the free-to-play battle royale game from legendary developer Respawn Entertainment. The same Respawn that brought you incredible multiplayer experiences like Titanfall 1 and 2. And then there's this beautiful guy right here. This f***ing cutie patootie, all right? If you don't know who he is, it's probably because you're 12 years old and, uh, and you haven't been properly introduced to the gaming industry. So let me give you a bit of a history lesson. This guy's name is Vince Zempella, and the only reason why people don't talk about him as much as Kojima is because he isn't as memeable as Kojima. You wanna talk about a legend on the battlefield? This guy is a legend on the battlefield. This guy's brain power was utilized to make Call of Duty what it is today. Whenever I see this guy working on a game, I think, okay, this is in good hands. I respect this man. Excited to see what he's gonna produce. And I'm right in doing so because this here is the first VR game that I'm genuinely excited about. In fact, I'm so excited about this game that I have genuine FOMO because I know that my friends are playing this right now while I'm recording this video. I'm hooked, okay? I'm totally hooked, I want more. I wanna learn this game, I wanna get better at it, okay? But I'm just one guy. And apparently, the release of this game was met with some controversy. It turns out that not everybody's excited about free, high quality games. I should mention that the initial distaste people had for Apex Legends wasn't that they didn't want a free game. It was because they felt like this game had replaced Titanfall 3 and that EA Games had destroyed yet another one of their beloved franchises. And while I can understand their frustration regarding certain aspects of this industry, I thought the anger around Apex Legends was a major knee-jerk reaction and highly indicative of how little consumers in the games industry know about, well, the video game industry. So here are some reactions I uh, took note of. Pierce Factor, who appears to be a major detractor of Apex Legends, he says, I love Titanfall 2. I spent probably 100 plus hours on it. My hard drive is stuffed with clips and highlight reels. I won't play Apex Legends for even a second. It's not Titanfall. I refuse to accept what EA is doing to this franchise. It's just another shooter now, nothing more. Rest in peace. Uh, yo, Pierce bro, I, I got some news for you, man, all right? It's not just another shooter, okay? You can go ahead and try to tell yourself or convince yourself that it's just another shooter, but what it is is a very highly polished battle royale game with a heavy focus on team play. That's really what it is, you know? And there's a lot of movement. That feeling of movement that you enjoyed in Titanfall 2 is actually replicated in this in a different way. It just doesn't have Titans and wall running. That's pretty much it. But apart from that, you're able to utilize the environments to get around your enemies in a very, very interesting ways. I've seen it happen on streams. I've seen it happen to me. I've done it myself. It's really, really cool. You absolutely need to give this game a shot. Just give it a shot, man. It's free to play. You're not gonna lose anything at all. Maybe you'll lose some time, but I highly doubt that you're going to be really pissed off after playing a few rounds of this. This one's a little bit more optimistic, although still very critical of EA. I mean, it's okay to be critical of EA. Uh, and it's from Caster Brunning, and, he, and they say, I disagree if it wasn't true. It is still my favorite EA game to date, but a shame that not enough people played it. But I'm happy that Respawn got a chance to gain a larger following with Apex, which only, in my opinion, increases the chance of seeing Titanfall 3 due to more peeps. And I think this is the right attitude to have. This is really the right attitude to have in the game industry. If you're a gamer and you see more people playing video games, you should be overjoyed. It doesn't matter what kind of gamer they are. What matters is that they're playing games. All right. Video games bring a lot of joy to people. It, they, they just continue to bring a lot of joy to people. I'm telling you, dude, this industry is just loaded with so much good stuff. There's good stuff around every corner every year. I'm impressed more and more. I think I've seen it all. And then next year, someone else will show me something. I'll be like, whoa, Okay, okay, I understand now. Okay, this changes my perspective a little bit. Honestly, one of the best things, and yes, I think that Apex Legends is gonna be a really good thing for the dudes at Respawn. King K Thanos really doesn't like Apex, and he says, I would love to play Apex if it wasn't what killed Titanfall 3. Dude, it wasn't what killed Titanfall 3. Is Titanfall 3 even dead? It isn't. Nobody really knows what's going on with Titanfall 3. You don't know what's going on with Titanfall 3. You're talking out of your ass, buddy. You really are. That's just what it is. This is another example of people that like to stay mad. You just want to stay mad, man. That's really all it is. You don't want to play games. You just want to stay mad. You want games the way that you want them made, not how other people, experts within the industry, want to make video games. It's just... It's just remarkable to see this kind of attitude, honestly, seriously. And then on the flip side, you got people like Slinks over here, my boy Slinks, who says, honestly, I feel like Titanfall 3 not being made, which you don't really know if it's not being made. I, nobody really knows what's going on. When At the time of making this post, you had no clue, all right? But it's okay. Is a reason to play Apex. If Respawn sees Apex be actually successful, maybe they'll start developing Titanfall 3. This is just something I'm really hoping for, even if there is no chance of it happening. Look. 
that's the right that's the right attitude to have. Once again, once again, Slink's showing the way to people, showing the way to his fellow gamers. Yeah, that's that's what you gotta keep doing. You gotta make sure to stay positive. Yes, this is what I thought as well. When I heard of Apex, I was like, okay, Titanfall 1 and 2 really weren't these major commercial successes. They really weren't, okay? You gotta be crazy to think that they were super, super successful, all right? Apex Legends is a free-to-play battle royale game that's available on PC, PS4, Xbox, and it's just, it was available to download the moment they announced it, which was huge, absolutely huge. And at the moment I heard about that, I was like, all right, this is it, this is it. Respawn is going to make a lot of money and then they're going to put that money towards other projects that I'm certain are just going to be absolutely fantastic. And then Vince Zampella rolls around sometime after the launch and he says tons of things planned for Play Apex in the future. We are also committed to listening to player feedback, which it's very evident that they are. We're also working on more Titanfall for later in the year. Yes, I said the T word. We love being able to experiment in this crazy universe. This is just like, why were you guys freaking out? Why were you guys freaking out, huh? What was going on with you? Why do you guys resort to the worst possible solution? Why is that the thing? Be happy, guys, all right? Video games, video games, guys, video games. Be happy, video games. I don't get it, guys, I just don't get it. A company that's known for designing good multiplayer experiences designs a good multiplayer experience and these guys start pooping out little pebbles, all right? Because it's not the exact experience that they wanted. And the best part is, Titanfall 3 might very well still be in development. So please guys, let's just chill out for a second. Let's just chill out and let's just appreciate new games. Apex Legends is gonna be an amazing thing for Respawn. I've been watching other streamers play this game and you can just tell that it's gonna be huge. This game's launch was already so huge and it's being so well received. People are really, really happy with this game. And some people are just hating on it for no reason. This game is huge. It's a big, big release. It's super fun. It's got a team that's very clearly in love with it and willing to support it. And it's brought that AAA polish to a genre that desperately needed it at the solid price point of free. So let's take a moment here to reflect on what I specifically like about this game. There's a lot to love about Apex Legends, but I don't want to monotonously start listing these things off the top of my head. So let's start with what this game does differently from other battle royales. To start, their pinging system is the best I've ever seen in a game. If you've watched me play Rainbow Six Siege, you'll know that I'll ping areas or objects or even players I want to draw attention to as any team player should. But the pings in Siege are nothing more than yellow or red markers that need to be accompanied with some form of other communication, be it text or voice comms. Apex Legends has a pinging system in which the ping will be accompanied with in-game dialogue, describing what you're pinging or what you're suggesting with that ping. Ping an item and your character will tell the rest of your team exactly what item it is and where it can be found. Ping a general location and your character will audibly suggest that the rest of the team look there too, or ping an enemy and they'll actually announce where that enemy is. This system is an absolute wonder to behold and it's made it very clear to me that Respawn put in a ton of effort in creating a game that could be played without any player voice comms although it always helps to have a mic. Then there's the fact that you can respawn fallen teammates at designated drop points on the map, which is a huge, much needed addition to the battle royale game type. If you can't revive a teammate in time, you have the option to pick up their banner at their death location and bring it to a respawn point where after a five second timer, a dropship appears and drops off your previously fallen teammate. These two aspects of Apex Legends make it the most team oriented battle royale on the market in the sense that it gives you the tools to effectively work with the people you're playing with and and more importantly, keep them playing with you. In terms of the core gameplay mechanics, particularly the movement, gunplay, and environmental interaction, I've never experienced anything more fluid and responsive in a battle royale game. Moving through windows, climbing over walls, opening doors, and picking up items was something I found to be very cumbersome in titles like PUBG, but none of that seems to be an issue in Apex at all. One moment you could be jumping through a window and pick up something the moment your feet touch the ground, and the next moment you could be ziplining to the top of a mall complex while unloading a magazine on an enemy player. Game Play that is this buttery smooth is truly refreshing to experience in a first person battle royale game. Another welcome feature is the higher time to kill, which rewards skilled gameplay as opposed to sheer luck, drastically reducing your chances of being one shot from some random part of the map. Additionally, encounters with other players will often result in more personal firefights since players have a lot of mobility at their disposal and long distance engagements are too difficult to actually close as there's a ton of cover available to revive down teammates. On the more aesthetic aspect, this game is a sight for sore. I mean, it is just beautiful to look at. 
I love the environments, the color palette isn't overly cartoony, and the biomes presented on the arena are fun to traverse. In fact, getting from point A to B in Apex doesn't feel tedious at all, and downtime often feels like a much needed reprieve. What can I say? I've fallen in love with this game, and as mentioned earlier in this video, I'm absolutely hooked. The end of every single match is met with the desire to hear that jump music just one more time, and personally, that's a really special feeling that very few multiplayer games have been able to inspire in me. Get this game, guys. Give it a shot. You got nothing to lose. Thank you so much for watching, my sweet, sweet goats, even if you disagree with me, all right? Even if you disagree with me, I appreciate you dropping by. If you enjoyed your time here, feel free to leave a like, hit the sub button, and ding that bell icon. You can also catch me on twitch.tv slash MrBuntyKing if you want to see me around more often. I know that I want to see you around more often, so let's just go ahead and make that happen. Until next time, I love you. Goodbye.